Greetings Parade Watchers, and welcome to a new history video, as today, we'll be looking into an advertising icon, and let's just say, he loves to beat his drum. No, not that one, I'm talking about Quick Bunny, the mascot of Nesquik. All I can say is, to user Tiff and Tuff Fan Jr. 1, here you go. So let's talk about the Quick Bunny Balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Quick Bunny made his parade debuted in 1988 to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Nesquik with the Nestle Foods Corporation, or the Nestle Beverage Company, or Nestle USA Beverage Division, or Nestle USA, or just Nestle, as his sponsor. The design of our March Air shows him as a band leader while playing his 10x14 bass drum. His measures are 65 feet high, 34 feet wide, and weighs in at 520 pounds of helium, making him one of the heaviest balloons in the parade's history. Now, normally I don't talk about this part, but when a balloon gets this design, the people at Macy's Parade Studio would make a clay model. The reason why I'm saying this because the clay model of Quick Bunny was shown in the classic PBS Kids show, Reading Rainbow in the episode Brush, where LeVar Burden visited the parade studio. Uh -huh. and this is one that we've just finished, and you can see it has nice lift. We have a nice large hat, we have good size ears, right. a full drum. That'll give us a lot of lift, and you can see the, the feet are full of motion. Sure. So that this bunny is just going to march down the parade route the morning of the parade. He almost looks alive, this doesn't he? Yeah, it's great. the hare, the kangaroo, and the tortoise will be Quick Bunny. A balloon can have anywhere from 12 to 16 separate chambers. So, if it loses a chamber, the balloon still keeps flying. As you can see, this guy has all his chambers. Quick Bunny hops along smartly, keeping time on his bass, bass, you love it, bass drum, furnished by the Nestle Foods Corporation. This rabbit has an ear spread of 34 feet and flopping. Also doing the bunny hop, his escorts in snappy, matching yellow and green coveralls. Those rabbit ears, he can get CNN news, too. <laughs> His second appearance was in 1989, but however, with a deflated drum. Right in front of Macy's store, you got it, our second giant balloon, and this guy is outfitted in green and gold. I guess he's trying to audition to play trombone in the Jamestown, New York band. I'm talking about Quick Bunny, and he's furnished by Nestle's Food Corporation. A little shout of Nestle's would be pretty good right now. This is his second hop down the parade route, so let's take it away to the bunny. Hey, hi, Bunny Bunny. Coming soon in Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, and the giant Woody Woodpecker Balloon. And he would march on to the 90s, starting with 1990. From, from Mississippi, that's the Jones Junior College Band, and right behind him, marching smartly down the route with a little help from his handlers, is Quick Money, furnished by the Nestle Foods Corporation. Nothing like a little chocolate milk to make you feel better when you're not feeling good. And I know one little girl, my niece and Lisa, who's not feeling too good this morning, so maybe seeing a bunny will make her feel better. He's even got his own band uniform and brought his drum so he can play along with everybody else. Waiter, there's a hair in my suit. building and puncture may be part of an ear. The rest of them will stay inflated with helium, so our Quick Bunny is not going to be making any quick descent anytime soon, just in case anybody's worried about that. And after Quick Bunny is the struggle. In the 65th anniversary parade in 1991, his right hand and drumstick 
was deflated. What a lovely lady. We went to Hawaii a week ago. A week really ago. nice girl. Just charming. What have we here? Oh my goodness. It's Quick Bunny, a one bunny band, my kind of guy, furnished by the Nestle Beverage Company. I'd give a thousand dollars for some hot chocolate right now. They're drumming up some fun. This smartly dressed chocolate bunny has come to the right place to have a parade. And helping him down the line of march are 40 smartly dressed balloon handlers, all volunteers from guess which favorite store in America. Macy's? Ten dollars to you for this one, Katie. You're a winner. The next year to come was 1992. I like the way he slithers down Broadway, don't you? Absolutely, Willard. I can do it. Hey, one of my heroes, dude. Keeping the brain step, who better than Quick Funny? Marching down Broadway in his spiffy band uniform, marking time on his own bass drum. Furnished with a Nestle beverage company. Wouldn't a nice hot chocolate taste good now, Katie? Maybe yes, it some. would, Willard. But you know what? That is the strawberry Quick Bunny. Oh, it is? Yeah, not the chocolate Quick. Oh, well, I like strawberry much better than chocolate See, anyway. Good. Who's paying for this? The strawberry people? I Definitely. <laughs> Nestle. Nestle. For this guy, anyway. Chocolate or strawberry, it's a great act. This is a big bunny, 68 feet high, 34 feet wide. Makes me look small. <laughs> and he weighs at 520 pounds. Well, there I got him. Anyway, Quick Bunny is being led down the parade route by some of those wonderful Macy's employees who give up their Thanksgiving Day to bring all of this joy to children everywhere watching. And that's the truth. Ed in 1993. Now Willard hopping to the beat of a different drum. Here comes the Quick Bunny, furnished by Nestle's Quick. This chocolatey guy has been a big part of our parade since 1988. And it's 68 feet high and 34 feet wide. I do mean big. And what I get for about a quarter of his chocolate, I'd love a hot chocolate right now. This guy is hopping with his absolute snazzy uniform in perfect rhythm. He brings out a new meaning to the word drumstick each Thanksgiving. Katie and I were fighting over this hat. I think it's... In 1994, which began the Brad Lockman era of the parade's broadcast on NBC, Quick Bunny's left ear was deflated. NBC's telecast of Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is sponsored in part by Polaroid Captiva. Pictures stay in until you take them out. And by MasterCard. MasterCard is more than a credit card. It's smart money. Hey, that... Yes, that's indeed, my, Willard. That's my legend. You know, when I grew up, I'm going to be just like Don Pardo. I know. Doesn't he have a great voice? We, we've really hit the big time with Pardo. Katie, yeah. this parade is a genuine dazzler this sure year. Sure is, Willard. You know, you aren't the only guy in town with a large hat size. Thank you. Say hello to Quick Bunny. <laughs> This fuzzy little fella keeps time as he marks his way down Broadway. And Nestle's, my favorite chocolate drink, has furnished the Quick Bunny with a beat. Quick Bunny stands as high as two Olympic-sized swimming pools, if you can believe that, Willard. His ears are 19 feet long, and his hat is two stories tall. Thank you. How about that drum? It is so big they can hear it in Texas, buddy. And this Quick Bunny's seventh appearance in the parade, and he loves it. Folks, the kids from Deer Valley have arrived, too, all the way from Glendale, Arizona. And I'll bet they wish they were back in Glendale. And then continuing on in 1995. The Nestle Beverage Company furnishes the Quick Bunny Balloon. This bunny's got a lot of rhythm on his bass drum. In fact, the drum is as big as two beds. 
Quick Bunny has lots of experience. This is the seventh time he's marched in Macy's Parade. With his musical bent, Quick Bunny embodies all the bands of the parade, and he's got plenty of body to do it, Willard. I'll tell you, if he'd sit over some hot chocolate right now, I'd give $1,000 to Quick Bunny's favorite charity. At this time, Quick Bunny wouldn't have to be so fast. He's six times the size of an elephant. I ought to know. And he has the strength of one. Quick Bunny can free lift 520 pounds. What a macho bunny. It takes 50 handlers to keep up with him. In fact, every balloon in today's parade needs an average of 56 handlers. And according to my quick math, that means over 1,000 Macy's employees just handle the balloons alone. And if you ever tried it, it ain't easy. I bet. The winds are up. The pride of Beaufort, North Carolina, is the marching mariners of East... And in 1996, to celebrate Nestle's 130th really anniversary. Really a talented group, Willard. Now it's time for our March Hare. And he's marching to the beat of his own drum. Here comes the Nestle Quick Bunny. Hey, old Quick Bunny may be quick, Katie. But at 520 pounds, he's the second heaviest balloon in this parade. Did you know that, Katie? I didn't know that. Well, if you'd have read the script at rehearsal, you'd have known that. But this 40 Macy's handlers can take care of it. He ain't heavy. He's our bunny. <laughs> hey, this fabulous balloon is provided by, guess who? Nestle Beverage Company. What a surprise. Willard Quick Bunny would need a high-rise hutch. Seven stories tall and in the Big Apple. That's a lot of lettuce. That's no dumb bunny, Katie. As Quick Bunny turns the corner, 34th Street comes into view, and the view from here is splendid. And that's thanks to the 34th Street Partnership, a local group adding just another beauty mark on the face of this spectacular city. You want to come up and see what they're doing here at Times Square. Have you seen what? It's almost finished. It is terrific. And Quick Bunny is very lucky because the wind is relatively calm this morning. Willie, we've done other parades where the wind is kicked up, and these sizable balloons go here, there, and everywhere. For the first time, don't go away, still a march, Leah Thompson and Kenny Rogers, and we'll enter the world of Willy Wonka with Liz Torres when we come back. In 1997, it was not a good year for Quick Bunny and his balloon handlers, as high winds was happening throughout the entire parade route. At the parade starting line at Central Park West, it had a difficult start. He was supposed to be behind the Pinson Valley High School band from Pinson, Alabama. But because of the winds, he was a bit delayed. Then he finally got the start right behind the Allen High School band from Allen, Texas, which was the position for the Barney balloon in the parade. But the Hanovers were having a tough time with the balloon. Then came in Times Square, where he finally managed to stand up tall. But once again, his left ear was deflated. But then a few miles up, his ear, along with his hat, was torn off from a lamppost, causing him to be removed from the parade. But he's not the only one. The Pink Panther, Barney, Sonic the Hedgehog, and one other balloon were deflated or pop, which the latter one caused an accident that got two balloons removed from the parade. As for the parade's broadcast on television, when a balloon does not reach Herald Square, NBC shows either a test flight footage, if it's the balloon's debuted, or show a previous year when the balloon was at Herald Square. As for Quick Bunny, the footage that was used for him was 1993. Listen up, you know, march into the beat of his own big bass drum, as we sit down, Sal. It's Quick Bunny, furnished by Nestle. Now that is some drum. Now I tell you what, because of the wind today, uh, we had to have Quick Bunny sort of, you know, recreated on videotape. And the sticks are 12 feet long up there. Our hip-hop hair has lots of experience. And this is his 10th Macy's Parade. With his bright, bright green uniform, gold epaulets, Quick Bunny embodies all the bands in the Macy's Parade. Of course, he's uh, feeling a little under the weather today, but still marching proudly in our hearts. We're going to have some Nestle's chocolate right now. Yeah, that's right. Well, maybe somebody will bring us some. Keeping him afloat is Captain Jennifer Gorin and her colorful band of 40 Macy's volunteers. And listen, residents along the parade route could really pet Quick Bunny from a seventh floor window. That's how big. His hat alone is two stories high. Or was two stories high. It was. In 1998, 
When Macy's and the people of New York City had the new rules for the balloons on their size limits, the expansion of the handlers and pilots, and have two utility vehicles to help control the balloons, surprisingly, Quick Bunny was one of the balloons that got to stay in the parade. And it was pretty exciting, as 1998 marked Nesquik's 50th anniversary. But like the previous year, the weather was heavy winds, but lots of rain. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but some balloons were damaged. Quick Bunny being one of them. No photos or videos exist from his deflation. Our March Hare was not the only one that was deflated. Garfield, Spider-Man, and the new Wild Thing balloon from Where the Wild Things Are had sprung leaks before even starting the parade, and it was either from a lamppost or tree branches. As for the parade's broadcast on NBC, the 1993 parade footage was used for Quick Bunny for the second year in a row. Well, he just keeps playing and playing and playing. On videotape, the March Hare himself, Quick Bunny, furnished by Nestle USA. Katie, we've seen some pretty smart band outfits today, but this hip-hop hair stylin' with his bright green jacket, complete with gold epaulets. He might like the city's quick pace, but to call New York home, he'd need a high-rise hutch seven stories tall, and he'd have to pass the co-op board and pay maintenance. <laughs> it wouldn't be fun. And of course, in Manhattan, that's a lot of lettuce. Mm -hmm. That was Matt's line, but I let you have it because I didn't think it was funny. <laughs> it was a <laughs> You should have let him take that line. <laughs> <laughs> Take that line, please. Meanwhile, the Redland High marching band is a traffic stopper from the word go. After the past two years with his damages, he finally came back in 1999. However, he needed to have some less helium in him in order to fit the utility vehicles for the safety precautions. Now, do you need some bunnies to love? Check out the next quick bunny. He celebrates all of today's bands as he marches to the beat of his own bass drum the size of two grand pianos. He's furnished by Nestle USA Beverage Division. And Katie, the next quick bunny has had a pretty busy year hopping from country to country with a hop over in Hollywood to have his paw print cemented in history at Man's Chinese Theater. That's impressive. He really is quite the world traveler. Nesquik Bunny has flown to more than 100 countries. He himself is the size of a small airplane. Now imagine you... After the 1999 parade, he was officially retired making a total of appearances of 12. The reason why the balloon ended up retiring after 1999 was due to the balloon's fate and obscurity, and with several controversies with the balloon's sponsor, Nestle. As a result, Nestle decided to end sponsoring the Quick Bunny balloon in the parade. So basically, we won't see the Quick Bunny in the parade anytime soon. Not even a new version will happen, despite of this year marks Nesquik's 70th anniversary. Now we're done with our March Hare, as next time we're going to be looking into another advertising icon, or should I say icons, that also did God into some trouble.